Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop tutorial. Going to show you how to recolor artwork using Photoshop. That's right, Photoshop, not Illustrator. And more importantly, this is not layer artwork. This is not vector artwork. This is a PNG or a JPEG, pardon me, this is a JPEG. This is just a photo. This is not layered or vectored artwork. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. So I've got this great image here that I borrowed off of free pick, by the way. I just went and downloaded it for free. I think the clues in the name and watch this. I want to recolor the eyes, but I don't want to use the pen tool and draw out paths and shapes and all that nonsense. So I'm going to use a new tool here called the content aware tracing tool. Now watch this blue eye, blue eye. Let's go with another one. Let's click out. Maybe we want, what color nose do you want? You want like a purple nose? That'd be cool. Magenta, uh, something like that. Purple nose, whatever, something like that. We're recoloring artwork in split seconds where in the past you'd have to draw it using a pen tool and shapes and all that stuff. So here we go. How did I do this? It's very easy to do. Let me show you what you need to do. The first step and the most important step is you got to go up to Photoshop, go into your settings or preferences, wherever it is for you on a Mac, it's right here. And then go down here to technology previews. When you open that up, you need to make sure that this is enabled. Enable content aware tracing tool. This is this magic tool. Click on OK. Now, it won't be up and running until you restart your Mac, or pardon me, you restart your software. You don't have to restart your computer. Just restart your software, and the next time you open it up, it will be underneath your pen tool. If you do not see it here, and it's possible, hold down on these three dots here, edit your toolbar, and then just go down here until you find the pen tool, and make sure that Content Aware Tracing Tool is available. You can click on it and make sure it's up and running. Okay, good. So now you've got that selected. It's right here under the pen tool, content aware tracing tool. Now watch this. We'll just zoom in and this has got nice contrast. So you're going to see the differences here. So look, as I zoom in here, look at that. You'll see that I get the uh, selection that's done a pretty good job selecting the eye. If I click on that, it's going to go purple. Now, the reason why it's purple is if I look up here, the tool is set to shape versus path. So make sure shape is selected, select the color of the fill that you want it to be and select the stroke. In this case, no stroke, but if you wanted a stroke, go nuts. Now let's click outside of it again. I'm going to grab the tool again here. And this time I want a black eye, but maybe this time we want a, I don't know, maybe we want some sort of red stroke. I don't know. I'm just having some fun. Watch this. Here we go. I'm going to click it. I'm going to zoom in again a little further. Make sure that you've got the line here and there we go. All right, we've got a black eye with a red stroke. And again, this is doing this in seconds. This can speed up your workflow massively. If I want to do it again, I can click out. Now, let's go really far zoomed in. You'll notice here that it's not perfect. There's a little bit of underlap, so to speak. So what I like to do is I'll just hold down the Alt key or the Option key, and then I'll just pull it out maybe one time, and that should do the trick. You can go ahead and adjust it as you see fit. You can also go ahead and grab the uh, direct selection tool and start moving the points if you want to. But literally, that is the en entire technique in a bottle there. Start recoloring your artwork, your images, your vectors, your logos inside Photoshop in seconds. Thanks for watching.